So, ooh, look a little square. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, What's up, Dia Badass fam? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this week, I had no idea, no clue of what I was going to make and present to you guys for this week. Until I went to the store and I was just shopping around trying to get some inspiration and wham, I came across, you ready? I came across jackfruit in a can. Now, every store I went to, I would see the big thing of jackfruit and I'm like, what the heck am I gonna do with this? So, as soon as I found the can, I instantly started thinking in my head, how am I going to prepare this jackfruit? What am I going to make? And then I was like, I'm going to make pulled pork jackfruit style. So stay tuned and I'll see you in a bit. Peace. Okay, we back, baby. We got two cans of jackfruit, maybe three. There we go. So what we're gonna do, since I don't know what I'm gonna do, we're gonna open up the cans. Um, I went ahead and I got the one that was in brine because I was the only one that I had. I prefer to do water or natural jackfruit. As you can see the contents in it, <clears throat> open up all the cans. For those of you who are wondering where you can purchase jackfruit in the can, you can go to your local store or even better, a Asian market they have them and if you can't get it from any of those options you can also order it on amazon okay drain the cans of jackfruit in a colander preferably you want to do this in a sink the reason why you want to do it because all that brine and all the stuff that's on there you want to make sure you wash everything off of this fruit Okay, you wanna turn your faucet on, give it a nice little rinse, get your hands in there, get your hands nice and dirty. Work everything around, make sure you get all of the, of the stuff on there. Now, you see this little thing that I'm touching? That's the uh, core of it. So you wanna cut that off later on. So once everything is nice and rinsed, you wanna get back to your cutting board and see this that little thing that i was touching i'm gonna cut that off we're not gonna want it we don't need it it's not edible well at least i'm not gonna try to eat it it was just too tough for me so i just one by one cutting everything off and i'm gonna put everything into my silver container so i can start seasoning it this Fruit is very foreign to me, and I'm pretty sure it's foreign to everybody else. So that's why I'm going to be you guys' guinea pig, and we're going to figure this out together. But yeah, back to the uh, back to the show. <clears throat> so I'm as I'm pulling out these little seeds, those seeds don't really look. So, ooh, look a little squirt. That's what she said. <laughs> so you see the, see how it looks kind of meaty? Okay, so this is gonna be my first time trying it. Hold on. Mm. It's actually not bad at all. Good too. I can tell it has a very meaty texture. So as I cut these pieces, I'm just gonna kind of break it up a little bit. You know, I'll just keep on just cutting these pieces. So this is actually my first attempt to make jackfruit. Never had it before. So I figured, you know, now they got it in a can. Let me go ahead and try this out. Maybe we might all like it. Maybe it'll keep us from make, eating actual pork sandwiches. Pigs are filthy animals. I don't oh, know. Filthy. I could be saving the day. Just move these pieces off to the side. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, ladies and gents, now what I'm doing is I am just breaking the jackfruit up, just shredding it like you would shred like some chicken or you would shred like some pork or whatever. Um, and I'm preparing it for it to be um, seasoned. So I'm just going through it, making sure all the seeds and everything are out of it, pulling what is and what is not edible in or out of the bowl. So this is very important. So this is one of my favorite parts. I'm gonna add a little bit of smoked paprika. This is gonna give it that smoky, kind of meaty, kind of, you know, you know what I'm talking about, that kind of taste. Then I'm gonna add some chili powder. Gotta have the chili powder. You can, again, you can season this however you want to do it. But I'm adding cayenne pepper because I like a little bite to my, to my, to my burger. And then I'm gonna add some onion powder. garlic powder you know the routine i'm gonna spice it up a little bit put a little cumin in it a little dash there now you don't want to forget the liquid smoke this liquid smoke is the icing on the cake this is what's going to make it pop so give it a few dashes and you're gonna be all right Okay, congratulations, you got everything in the bowl. So you know what to do next. We gotta mix everything up, make sure everything is nice and coated. So as I'm mixing, I'm making sure that I'm breaking up some of the bigger, chunkier pieces. Um, it's, it's just, you know, part of my due diligence. I like to, you know, attention to detail. And then it's time to do the slaw. Now you can do it one or two ways. You can make it yourself. If you have the time, I didn't have the time, so I bought it from the store. Guilty. So I added this avocado mayo. It actually turned out pretty well. I put about two tablespoons full of it and I just mixed everything around. This is going to go on top of your burger. It's going to give it that nice crunch, that bite that you need. You know, just mixing things up. Okay, everybody, get your pan, spray it with either coconut oil or regular olive oil. This is the part that I like. You wanna check your pan, make sure it's nice and hot. <clears throat> and this really doesn't need to cook for that long. You just wanna give that nice little brown sear to it. Um, just move everything around. And again, I'm just breaking up the excess pieces that I missed when I was doing the mixing. And just move everything around, make sure everything's all good. Now that everything is nice and brown to your likings, I decided to add my own type of barbecue sauce. I added a sugar-free. You can use whatever type of barbecue sauce or sauce that you would like, but I'm doing the sugar-free one. And be very generous when it comes to putting this barbecue sauce in. You know, don't be, you know, shady with the portions. Now you wanna mix everything around, make sure it is nice and coated. And once coated, just cook for a little bit longer and you're good. Oh, you know what time it is. So I just grab a bun, a bun of your choosing again, just cut it open. I'm gonna add the cooked jackfruit slash pulled pork on the bread. Yes, look how nicely laid that is. And don't forget the slaw. 
Yes, yeah, so we're gonna put the slaw on the top. This is how quick and easy to make this. You guys should be making this like every day. But anyways, yeah. Put it on the bread, dress it up real nice, put the bread on top, you're good. Voila. Now, doesn't that look like a pulled pork sandwich without the guilt? Holla at ya, boy. Okay, Diet Badass fam, we are back. And as you can see, it is very easy to make. It didn't take me long at all to make this beautiful masterpiece. So y'all know what time it is. It's taste test time. So bear with me. This is my first time making it. This is my first time eating it. So who knows what my reaction is gonna be. That's actually really good. You get, the, you get the crunch from the coleslaw. The type of barbecue sauce I made it has a sweet, tangy, but yet a little bit spicy. Has a little bit of kick to it. You can mix and match and do however you want to do it. You can make it however you want to do it. I just made it this way because I like it a little bit spicy. But let me go ahead and put this down for now. Wipe my face. You guys didn't tell me I had sauce on my face, so thank you very much. But anyways, thank you for watching. Tune in, tell a friend, and subscribe. Peace. You made another one.